une balle là-dessus. I got on a plane to come to Cross Nationals again. We're in Peterborough now. Spent the night in Toronto for one night and one day. Hanging out at uh, places that take a long time to get into to eat. And now we're here watching bike racing. I originally planned on racing. I think Joel did too. Sort of. But uh, procrastination got the best of me for sure. And turns out day of race is $105. So... But now we can at least be appropriately dressed spectators. Yeah, yeah, not being wet. Two things working in our favor. It's a lot warmer than last year. And uh, two, I brought the right clothes. There almost should have been a swap. Where are all our friends? Are you some cute? Yes, I am. Any any chance I can get to really insult someone? <laughs> like a true insult. Like a, like a you're just terrible. <laughs> you're just a bad person. <laughs> nice work, road bike. Last year, some people were critical of all of the heckles, um, but I think it's important to note that the heckling is, is a very important part of cyclocross. An essential um, part. And if you're racing and someone's saying something nice to you, or you know, is trying to give you like some sort of motivation in a positive way, it doesn't have the same effect as when something cuts deep. You just won't try nearly as hard. Come on, Chris, we discussed the carbon wheels! Yeah! I don't think anyone on Dallas ever read that news. That was me. No, uh, what's, what's uh... <laughs> You've got cantilevers, your bike's lighter, everything should be easier. Here's the here's the t-shirt you bought. Stand up. Where's your rouge? Didn't take it. Good job. Like a full headwear. Let's go! Come on! It's better because you're coming up slow. Holy heck, you guys are quick too. Do you need a chocolate bar? The grip's up here. No, nope, that's what I said. Man, I said the grip's up here. Up the hill, brother. I'd just like to take a moment to talk about how well Brent is doing. Brent is doing very well. Brent's doing really well. Like very well. As a matter of fact, let's check in with him now. Brent, I'm so proud of you! I'm proud of you! Thankfully, there's like the, the smallest bit of opportunity between races to actually go get a lap in so that I can at least get an idea of what the course is like. It's significantly drier than last year. And everything looks a lot tackier and the corners look a lot more fun. So I'm looking forward to timing this correctly so that I can go out and get a look. And I'm like a little bit interested to see how riding someone else's bike goes because I'm riding Joel's. Cause you know, I didn't bring mine this year.
frustratingly it's like too cold out for my camera to actually last through an entire lap even though I'm charging it periodically throughout the day. The course is really good today though. Get into my shower. Anything and boil it. What do you think it is? It's a spoon. <laughs> Do you have like a cable stop on at all? Well, it's just my, I, I ran mini V's before. Oh, I used to okay. drill my stem. And you always got, you always got a lot of chatter, right. like brake chatter from yeah. it. And this has got a little bit of flex in it, just enough that it kind of takes out that, right, right. that, Sweet. that like brake chatter. And it's, so it's a little softer, but it's also like modulation's really so good. So it's like, is the stem drilled and tapped? So it's drilled and then I've got a, I've got a lock on it inside with a washer. Oh, right, you so would have just reached in. Yeah, yeah that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, this, yeah. It just, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> a little, and then a bent spoon. Yeah, Amazing. Like a little five mil. <laughs> I got these made in. Uh, I found some. I found some. Sh some shop in in the Ukraine, <laughs> and it was just when narrow wide had just come out. And I want, but I ran ovals and I wanted the adjustment. And so this is a 130, but with a, and it's like, a, it's a bigger oval. This is like a right. 44 down to like a, a 36? you know, 36. Yeah, -ish you can more. choose where you want the power to yeah. actually be. Yeah. Man, the teeth are very tall. Yeah, well that's the other thing. The teeth are super tall. Like, yeah. So, like I had, I had issues before with my. It was, it was dropping them without like a yeah, clutch. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, and I always run, you know, like I run 7800, it's like my, it's like my favorite setup, yeah. so. There's so much old school cool stuff on this bike. Yeah. Like, and, ready, and my money. Yeah, from far away. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, ready. Yeah. Yeah. Young Tyler Orschel, always looking. 